My name is Audrey. I'm very talkative. I'm goofy. Um, I'm fun. My story started in third grade. Um, my mom, I would always ask my mom, like, where's dad? What's he doing? Is he gonna come around? And she was, she just like danced around the question. She wasn't telling me anything. So as time and the years went by, I became frustrated. I became upset. Um, I was in elementary school and I didn't want to do work so it became my third grade teacher spoke to my mom and she was like well I'm very concerned with Audrey I want to know why she's not you know working towards her full potential and my mom would talk to me and I would just shrug her off like it don't matter she spoke to me but I wasn't listening to her like what she was saying was going in one ear and out the other I was not focused on what she was saying I was focused on why he wasn't there and like what was his excuse what was his reason around June there was a time where you know the time where it's people would tell the children if they you know passed the grade or they had to go to summer school in my case I had to go to summer school was I happy of course not because I did not like summer school of course I was given packets to do for homework I didn't want to do the packets I tossed them to the side then it was time to come take the test so of course I didn't do too well on the test I actually failed the test um, as a result of me not working to my full potential. So I had to repeat the grade over. Was able to only see my friends move up and I had to stay in the same line that I was in when I first started. So it was embarrassing. Like I was like, damn, I'm here again, a second time. Even though I was so angry, I was also embarrassed and that was like a wake-up call for me like okay you made a mistake now it's time to wake up even though your father's not in your life you still have to you know continue doing what you're doing and not let that stop you what inspired me to write was my father's absence so once i started from there i just continued like let me just continue and speak on not only my experience but other people's experience through my books just change the names people's experiences and the stories that they told me were they were betrayed by a friend which is what my urban novel is about children from middle school have told me about the absence of their father because i did speak at my middle school about my memoir i had recent events where i was um talking about my book because I'm a self-published author and as well as other authors, they were able to speak on their journey as authors as well. Um, I'm also coming out with a book series in, in order to promote my book as well. Um, what made me want to write a book was I had an, I experienced something at a young age where my father wasn't in my life and I wanted to write about him. So that encouraged me to write the book and explain how it impacted me as a person. And that's what I did. The fact of my father not being in my life made me feel very angry. I was very bitter. Um, I held a lot of animosity towards him because I would have track meets and he was not there. Um, I had a graduation and he wasn't there for that. Um, it was just basically like significant events that I needed him there for and he wasn't there. Writing is definitely an outlet for me because I can say what I want and not be punished for it. You write. What do you write for? When you rap, what do you rap for? 
when you sing, what do you sing for? Or who do you sing to? Or what's your message in your songs? What's the message in your poems or your books that you write? There's always a message when you do something. So, stuck to this one emotion. And I don't know why I stuck to it. I guess it's because of an experience that I had. And I just, ever since, I just stuck with that one emotion. So, with that one emotion, I was able to express myself in many ways. So, at some point, I was like, you know what? I'm getting tired of writing um, poems. I'm getting tired of doing that. Let me transfer to something different. Let me do something different. I'm going to read um, an excerpt of my book, my second novel. I was questioning today when Natasha's murder. I think that I'm a woman and I'm strong. I'm a woman, I'm a woman, I'm a woman and I am strong. A woman, I am strong. I carry the crown and it shall not fall. I carry, carry the, the crown, crown and it shall not fall. I will win. I will win. My time will come, I shall prosper. My time, time will, will come, come, I shall prosper. I will not settle for mediocre. I will not settle for mediocre. I will push through whatever obstacle stands before me. I will push through whatever obstacle stands before me. I got this. I got this. I don't need a man to validate my worth. I don't need a man to validate my worth. I am going to live my life like it's golden. I'm going, I'm going to live my life like it's golden. I'm going to win. Watch me. I'm going to win. Watch me. 